just so you know, this isn't coffee. Uh, we're out of coffee, which is actually disappointing. Uh, this is warm juice because it's still in the morning and it tastes disgusting. But it has um, sig significant. Huh? Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. Significant. Ooh, that word. Enough. <laughs> it has enough sugar. <laughs> Ooh, I can only write it. Significant. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it has enough. It has enough sugar. Ooh, yeah. Because I prefer drinking something with sugar or with caffeine before filming because I do get nervous. And in case you're noticing, I don't wear glasses anymore. I don't wear glasses anymore. So I'm going to be snapping. There's a couple of points that I want to um, put out first. I don't wear glasses, glasses anymore. Um, what happened is a fly flew flew past me. And I tried hitting it. And I hooked my glasses and they hit the, the floor. Which you could think is a, a sad thing. But I'm actually grateful that ha that happened. Um, because I've been wearing my glasses for about three years now. You're actually supposed to wear your glasses for two years. And when they broke, um, the time I stopped wearing them, like every day, every day, well, when I stopped wearing them, I realized that I see, I actually see better. Like my, my eyes actually now see better because wearing glasses is like medication, so to speak. Um, so now my sight is actually better. But I will, however, get glasses next year, the ones that with the tint, because it is very sunny here. Um, I do have a problem with light, editing could um, damage my eyes even more. Um, that's that. And I was on break, to be honest, I was on break, that's why I haven't posted. I'm not gonna make an excuse about I was broke, blah blah blah. I was on break, I was just chilling, relaxing, enjoying life. Oof, I'm not gonna lie, but I was literally enjoying life, just not living my best life, but I was just enjoying life, just trying to um, think about, meditate the things that are upcoming next year. Let me not lie, let me not lie. No, I wasn't actually meditating about the project for next year. I was just, long story short, I was just enjoying life. I was just being me, exercising, doing what I want to do. This thing is so hard. Doing what I want to do, literally. And I, I honestly had a good time. My friend texted me yesterday. I was actually planning on filming today, or actually tomorrow. He texted me like, yo, what happened to your YouTube channel? I was like, nah, man, I'm still, I'm not break, blah, blah, blah. There's a few things that I might work with him. Um, next year, which is actually dope. That's it. That's the intro. Um, one thing that I learned is my intros are kind of long, so that's it. That's the intro. Hi, how you guys doing? My name is Samson. Um, introducing myself, and yeah, you already know if you like escape Samson Gina, blah blah blah. But whatever. Today's video is about why I dropped out of school after this intro. <laughs> t-shirt is kind of huge i think this is my mom's t-shirt because we used to share the the laundry like that uh, with her like i share with her so i think this is mom's t-shirt because i don't know my clothes i i wear plain um t-shirts so this is a bit big i think this is mom's but whatever it doesn't matter why i dropped out of school so we just start off um give you the, the backstory um of everything not everything everything but of most of the things that the, the minority of it i say that word properly should be a genius the minority of it um i live in in Barberton, so i'm a huge i wouldn't really say a huge fan no because people go go crazy with the huge fan like people get tattoos you know like will smith like you know people write tattoos like of their celebrities that they love so i wouldn't really say i'm a huge fan given the fact that people go to that extent like people even like shave their hair to be or to make themselves look that they like their role models so i'm not gonna say i'm a huge fan anymore i'm just a fan like honestly i'm just a guy that loves will smith so i'm a guy that loves will smith so back in primary um primary i used to i was still new to this television thing i'm still new to that so television was a dope thing honestly television was a dope thing and i used to watch a lot of television then in grade eight uh, my friend um, Robert Mooney introduced me to I Am Legend, the movie I Am Legend. I watched this movie. I was like, uh, before people were talking negatively about this movie, they were like, ah, it's a boring movie. It's just one guy and a dog, um, Samantha. One, okay, they didn't actually say anything. One guy and a dog, blah, blah, blah. It's actually a boring story. I'm like, okay, cool. Let me just try it out. You know, Robert kisses this movie. Like, yo, man, this could be my favorite movie. I'm like, okay, cool. This is the movie that people were talking negatively about. 
you wouldn't show me that movie? I was like, okay, cool, fine. We watch this movie. I'm like, okay. In a way, this is interesting. For me, this is interesting. The the connection with the movie, everything. That was dope. Back in grade seven, I wanted to be an actor before. Like I wanted to be an actor before. They're like, okay, cool. What's your profession? I wanna be an actor. Then something happened. I shifted, you know, I didn't do that. So in grade eight, after watching this movie, I was like, cool, this Will Smith guy is actually dope. I actually like him. I actually like uh, most of the things that he does. You know, I start um, watching other things, blah, blah, blah. By Will Smith. I'm like, cool. Now I'm, I'm like a, a fan, so to speak. And then grade eight, my grades went good. Honestly, my grades went good. I was like, you know, I, I almost failed the grade. Well, yeah, I almost failed the grade. Uh, I moved to to now to a different school. So my parents were like, okay, no more television. You and you aren't allowed to watch television anymore, because being being this guy of, of uh, a dreamer, so to speak, I was a dreamer at that age. I was a dreamer. I believed in myself. I believed in myself and everything. Ambition, you know, the and everything that I wanted to do and, and accomplish in my entire life. You know, I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna do this. But how am I gonna do this right now? Because technically, I can't watch television, so I can't really watch my role model anymore so this one day you know, this bam this idea i don't know where it came out from i'm like cool i'm gonna start writing this script and i was like okay what would will smith will smith say or what would will smith say what will do you know those kind of things so i'm like okay cool the first movie that i'm gonna write won't be starring will smith you know cool so my dream is okay i'm gonna write this movie i'm gonna act in this movie and i'm gonna fly to america get will smith to act with me blah i'm gonna live a leverage life i'm gonna have a lot of money cool that's the plan honestly that was like a simple simple plan with no plus no twist nothing because it's me going to america oh me acting here in in south africa being successful here in south africa moving to america being successful there in america meeting will smith being successful with him flying back to south africa retiring as a successful actor that was the plan. Honestly, that was the plan. No plus, no nothing. Just straight up, that's the plan. Cool. So I write this movie. My first movie ever that I ever wrote was a typical love story. Um, secret love about a guy and a girl dating in an office, like secretly dating in an office. Cool. You know those type of movies. So that was my first ever movie. Then my second movie that I ever wrote was starring uh, Will Smith. Like the entire family. <laughs> Honestly, do not judge me. The entire family. It was Will Smith, Jada, um, Willow, Jaden, and trey yeah, trey so those five but I, I didn't know much history about trey so trey stays in the house for a while then goes on vacation because i don't know him i don't know him much because he's not like uh they like you know with the family a lot so i don't know much about will much about trey so i know um jaden and willow you know um at that time i think um, jaden had a song with bieber so Justin Bieber was also there, you know what, it, it's, oof, that was like a huge, I wouldn't really say a huge dream, but a huge thought, so to speak, so, I started writing these movies, I started writing these movies, these movies, these movies, blah, 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 so this, this thing in me, then I had this one movie, which I cannot tell you about, because this movie is something that I might still consider rewriting, um, should I, like, blow up, should I blow up, it's, it's a, a character called, what well, can't really name, name the character only the few people that know the character is Robert Mooney knows the character because he read the whole script the entire script like he helped with my English a lot I like, thank him for that because my English was terrible honestly in grade eight bear in mind English is not my first my my home language and the only time I get to um indulge <laughs> indulge in English is when I'm in school when I'm with him uh, most of the time like he's white I'm black so we met halfway the only place we met was in english you know so i had to like stretch for him to understand me and my english was terrible but he used to laugh but help me but that's not the story which i am grateful for so i wrote that he, he corrected the, the the script blah 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 so filming was always in my head in grade 12 i got in grade 12 i passed you know i, I never really concentrated much you know I, my, my friend then we would tell me writing finals i used to go to his house play games he was like dude are you sure you want to be playing games while you're writing your finals tomorrow i don't care about school honestly there was a point i almost dropped out of school i told my mom mom i am literally tired of school i am fed up i don't want school anymore honestly i i want to drop out of school and that's what i did i told her i wanted to drop out of school she said, no man don't drop out of school what are you gonna do i'm like i'm gonna be a writer you know this it was in grade 11 12 
I'm gonna be right because I'm fed up with school. Those people just do weird things every day. To be honest, I don't don't judge me. For me, school is stretched out too long. For me, this five years could have been five years with some experience. Your know, five years add some drama in there, add some much more practical things for us to learn. Why 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 are we why are you spending five years to do books? Then another five years in school doing books, then maybe one year doing practicals. That is crazy. Like I wanted school to have a bit more practicals of the things that you're gonna be doing in college, but that is not a story for, for this. So I was fed up with school. I'm like, nah man, this school is trash. I'ma drop out. Mom's like, nah, don't drop out. Now then she asked me, what do you wanna do after school? I'm like, filming, you know? Filming. I wanna do film. So my, my my mother has this tendency of listening to other people so she listened maybe to her friends i don't know who she was like her friend maybe told told her that filming isn't a good career like there's a lot of bad things happening there's a lot of negative things, which is in, which is true you could you can actually find that today oh, even back then but that wasn't my purpose of entering the this industry of filmmaking you know my my purpose of entering this industry of filmmaking was to Enjoy the, the, the beauty of writing and acting. Yeah, I wanted to be an actor, but now I don't want to be an actor. I actually love, love, love writing. So she, she told me about the school um, photography. You know, photography, I don't like photography. She told me about photography, I don't like photography. Um, she's like, okay, cool. If you study photography, that would be chill. Like You'll be filming, in a way. I was like, nah, I don't like photography. Photography for me is trash. I look at pictures and I'm like, ah, this is boring. Like, honestly, when I view pictures, I do this. Literally, most of the time, I just do this because I don't care about photography. I, I'm sorry, but I don't back then. I don't care about photography. So she was like, okay, cool. Study photography. I'm like, nah, let me make you a deal. Let's make a deal. If I study photography, if I go to school and study photography, you have to buy me a camera, a video camera, a, a computer to edit, and some programs. You know, this was a budget of about 30, 40k. You know, cool. She was like, okay, cool. That's that's fine. You have that. You know, you have that. And I'm like, okay, cool. That's chilled. Since I'm going to have these filming things, let me just go study photography. Now, I go and study photography. My first day, my first day was, honestly, it wasn't bad. Honestly, it wasn't bad because I had a great lecture. Honestly, I had a great lecture. Uh, Mickey Brunette, he in a way made at some point made me love photography i was like damn photography is not that bad honestly i was like photography is not that bad like i could actually do this for a living then some days reality kicks in i'm like this thing is trash this thing is awful i don't like this because at at some point i wouldn't do assignment assignments deliberately i wouldn't do assignments i'm like nah man whatever if i pass i pass if i fail i fail because i don't care about this thing because and another thing that made me discouraged about going to Durban was in a way you know your finances in a way when you're in school I, I know this might sound bad but back in school they had everything the other students had everything you know I had, they had this that that drove to school I took a taxi they had this that you know ate salads I had chips almost every day I had to pretend like I like chips every day because that was my budget honestly that was my tiny budget and their budget was there because you know what? those little things discouraged me in a way like I, I just felt like there was no need so bear in mind I I have no idea what's going on I really don't like photography uh, there's pressure of, of you trying to fit in so to speak like financially trying to fit in because I had to start acting weirdly and but okay this is annoying I mean Yeah, sorry about that. That was annoying for me. I just wanted to lay this slide. So, there is a pressure of you trying to fit in because you don't have much. Honestly, you don't have much. Your parents are just sending you to school to just study. You know, sometimes you already don't like this thing. And now you, you're trying to fit in financially, which is kind of impossible. So, it costed me about 60 bucks, <laughs> 60 rand every day to go to school. Like, go there and come back. So I was like, sometimes when I'm like, ah, when I just wake up, I'm like, don't feel like school, I'm like, 60 rand is a lot of money. So let me just go buy something, you know, buy something. I came back, when I came back 
home, I was kind of like chubby. Not like chubby chubby, but I was kind of chubby. So they were like, oh, okay, cool. Then the, the people that I stay in the house with, they were like, these snitched at me. Honestly, they snitched at me all the time. They're like, yo, son didn't go to school. Yo, son didn't go to school. Yo, son is out, came back in the morning. Yo, yeah. So, <laughs> so they used to snitch at me, uh, which was, it was a disappointing thing. Honestly, I didn't like it. Honestly, I didn't like it because, he, he, he's, you know, like, I, I, well, technically, you know, you just, you just supposed to take the rent, you know, like, here's the rent, you know. If, if I ate the rent money, then they snitch on that, that under, that's understandable, because, you know. But, um, down the line, I, I dropped out of school, because I, I didn't like it. I dropped out of school. I asked her about the things, like, yo, um, where are the things you promised me? She was like, nah, man, you buy the things for yourself. I was like, yo, 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 like, Rewind it, do that Trevor Noah um, joke about the Russian, like, blah, 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 blah. like, do that joke, like, whoa, let's go back a little bit. Um, didn't you say if I just pop in here, you just get the things for me? She's like, nah, man, you, when you get back here, you afford the things for yourself. I was like, nah, that's crazy. <laughs> I was like, nah, that's crazy. Now, I remember, like, uh, two months later, I was fed up, honestly. Now there's, like, literally no motivation at all. At first, there's motivation of you getting... The, the filming gear that you wanted. Now there's no motivation at all. Now I called the one morning. I'm like, nah, mom, I dropped out of school. I'm not going there anymore. It's like, nah, man, go back to school. I'm like, nah, mm -mm. I'm not going there anymore. Honestly, I'm just like, it, it's boring there. Honestly, it's boring there. But there's one topic that I like in photography. Let me just, I'll, I'll come back there. War photography. I, I remember this one time Mickey showed us this film about war photography. I was like, whoa, you know, people with guns. And I know it's creepy, but me with the camera just following, like, people shooting, just like, mm -hmm. me running, you know, like, mm -hmm. like me running with my camera, like yo ducking and stuff like that. War photography for me was always an interesting, interesting topic. I was like, damn, those people are privileged. I, like, whoa, that is a story to tell. Then we had one assignment where I saw Donald, Donald uh, the singer, and. Uh, I think Sfisongwane, I think Sfisongwane was there. So how I got in there well, it was pretty simple. Um, the people that I used to stay with there, he got me a ticket, like a media ticket. And I got there, at first, no, it's not actually a media ticket, I'm, I'm lying right now. It was like the spectator, like the audience part of like the general ticket. So I'm there with my camera trying to take pictures. It, it's not looking good, it's not looking good. Yeah, I was like, okay, um, just go straight, see what happens. So I go there, like, as if I know what I'm doing, the security starts stopping. I just show him the camera. I keep running. He's like, then he lets me go. I'm like, yo, that actually worked? <laughs> I was like, yo, that actually worked? Now I'm, like, in the front line. I'm, like, front line taking pictures. I'm, honestly, I'm enjoying this thing. Like, there's this buzz, this atmosphere of everything. Like, bzz, 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 like, bzz. It's like a thrilling thing. And I was, honestly, I was enjoying that. Then I tried to go to Donald, the backstage. Backstage. I think he had his own security. So I tried doing that trick. I was like, they was like, nah, 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 nah. He has his own photographer. Who are you? I'm like, yeah, you called me. Honestly, I did say that. I was like, yeah, you called me. <laughs> like, yeah, cool. Just he was like, yeah, just just stay there. Just stay there. Stay, stay, stay there. Just you know, take pictures of him like that. No, don't try to you know, don't try to follow him the backstage. Now nah, we don't we don't permit that. Then back to war photography. War photography for me was always a bliss. Like every time there's this movie that we saw with Mickey, it's like, bro, he showed us this movie. I, I know it's violent, but they, the people, the, the thriller, the, 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 what's that thing? Adrenaline, you know? Like when they're taking pictures, I'm there in my head, I'm like, oh, snap. The, the downside is that some photographers actually do die. You know, you, you do get shot, like accidentally get shot. Because what happens is, let's say South Africa is fighting against, uh, let me just not make example about South Africa. You just say America is fighting against China, like there's an actual war. So the, the photographers of China are told in, in like they know they notify Americans about that these people are photographers, do not shoot them, then likewise, you know, vice versa. So they have this thing that they wear. So don't shoot the photographer, don't shoot the person wearing red, that's a photographer, don't shoot him, he's he's just like behind media. Well, 
you know sometimes some people like if you're a photographer and I'm, I have a gun I just shoot that guy I literally stand behind the photographer and sh and for me to get for the other person to get me he shoot the photo photographer then shoot me so yeah some photographers actually do that but for me I was always like intrigued intrigued by by that so that is why I dropped out of school I never liked photography but for now now I came back home I came back home mom was yelling like yeah why you drop out of school I'm like nah I didn't like this thing you know I didn't like this thing like yeah you should have just carried on like I spent a lot of money I was like nah you spend the money you want me to study that I didn't ask for that yeah I understand if I asked for it so it was like a whoosh, it was loud so and back home, people back home didn't know I, I, I dropped out. They just know that I went to school because, you know, I did go to school. Did I finish? No, I didn't finish school. And people call me like, yo, Sam, I have this an event. Um, I'll pay you so much. I'm like, oh, first thing I checked my camera. I was using the 1200D, the, the, not this one. What is, what is this? No, this is a 20. I was using the 1200D. It doesn't have video. So I was like, ah, okay, cool. Just put the camera anyway. And people were like, yo, man, I, I need you for, for a gig. Uh, just for pictures i'll pay you this much i'm like okay let me just go i take pictures it's kind of fun it's event photography it's event photography i do that i do that, that. okay cool after events just put my camera down um catches dust whatever then one day i was bored oh, i was bored i turned my pictures into black and white photo into black and white I was like, okay this is pretty dope honestly then i fell in love with black and white photography i was like whoa this is black and white photography is kind of artsy to be honest it's kind of artsy because i went to school without a clue what photography was you know okay i had a clue people were like snapshots i didn't like see this as a profession so i turned my pieces into black and i thought like, okay this is kind of dope to a point that i went and took pictures of my own like you know my own pictures in like black and white like, okay this is artsy blah 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 whatever so now at the moment i like black not black i like black and white photography and event photography that is what I like, you know, that is what I like. Would I ever go back to school? No, 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 no. Oh, this warm juice is disgusting, but no, I'd never go back to school. Never study photography ever again. Mm -mm. Wow. And that's it. Um, yeah, that's it. How long was this? Was this filming? 23 minutes. Dang. I want it to be snappy. Okay, cool. Thank you for watching. Um, I still love you guys. I'm not sure when I'm gonna post again because I do take breaks now. Uh, yeah, I think taking a break out of, out of, of your your profession, so to speak, is, is important sometimes. So yeah, I was on break. Uh, not that I stopped. I was on break. I'm not even sure when I'm gonna post this. Today's date is. 25th of November so I'm not even oh I dropped my phone I'm not even sure when I'm gonna post this just take breaks take breaks just relax go at your own pace I know this is a different topic just go at your own pace do not be pressured by views do not be pressured by likes you know I heard this story about Instagram wants to remove likes which I understand some people do have the pressure of um, I want to get likes and I get views do not be pressured by that do this because you love it yeah, just honestly do it because you love it. That's just one of my reasons why I'm doing this, why I'm on YouTube. I'm I love this. I'm not I'm not trying to be rude to the people that already subscribe, but even if y'all didn't subscribe, even if y'all unsubscribe, uh, honestly I am I'm so happy. Yo, honestly, there'd be that thing of oh snap, instead of ten views, I now get five. Oh, that's that's a bummer. But it wouldn't be like a deal breaker, so to speak. So I'm, I'm just grateful for YouTube on its own, like giving us creators the platform of creating, which I, I actually thank. Oof, honestly, I, I thank. Because for me, as I mentioned with the story of Will Smith, when I realized how hard it was to, to, to create for, for a platform, it really discouraged me uh, when I saw that the connection that you needed to have, like I wanted to be on SABC, but now I'm sorry to mention SABC. I want my things, some of my things to be on SABC, but now I'd legit be on SABC for the money. Like, should it be like good paper, but it's not really a, a thing of me wanting to be on SABC. For me, YouTube is a 
flipping flipping amazing platform next year on youtube is few project dropping um i'm not sure between january february and july but i'm i'm sure about the one happening in july but for january and february i'm waiting for cash to buy more equipment more gear it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be crazy the work is gonna be crazy <laughs> honestly but i'm not gonna be working by myself that's one thing for sure thank you for watching my name is no i'm not gonna tell you my name no screw it screw it <laughs> screw it